And that dog has been away from her home for five days now and might not be returned until early next week. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. The owners say the man who took Heidi is tormenting them online, and they say all they want is their dog back, no questions asked. Brandon Todd is first on Fox 4 News at 9. Brandon, I think this will this will have people torn here when they hear bo both sides. But I think a lot of people agree that taking the dog might be, ta taking and keeping, I guess, might be extreme. What's, what's the word out there? Well, I think clearly there were uh, different ways that this could have been handled. Fort Worth police right now are trying diligently to make an arrest in this case. These are the pictures. This right here of the dog. These are posted all over the community here. And this thing almost reads like a Hollywood script in a way. you got a dog napping of sorts, a ransom note with no ransom, and the owners of the dog haunted by the fact that the, the person that stole this dog and who is now taunting them likely lives nearby. We couldn't stop them. I saw through this here in the... Took Heidi. Crawford Gupton and his wife couldn't believe their eyes, discovering that someone cut the lock last Friday on this small breezeway next to their Fort Worth home and stole their 10-month-old Swiss mountain dog, Heidi. Just bring her home. Yeah, please, please. Just bring her home. That's please. it. Just, that's it. The Guptons posted a message on Reddit asking for help finding Heidi. Shockingly, one response was from a man who admitted to stealing the dog. In his post, he says he took a shortcut through their carport and saw the dog outside in the cold. This was at the height of the ice storm, with temperatures hovering in the 20s. Of course, we just collapsed. We couldn't believe the kind. You know, you feel violated. Uh, like these people, you know, they, they know who you are, you know. The man on Reddit says he thought Heidi was neglected and looked malnourished. So he broke the lock and took her home. He even posted this picture of Heidi, claiming she was much better off now. Then he criticized the owners for leaving her outside. And that's where the Guptons say he's way off base. We've got a, a greater Swiss mountain dog. This dog is bred to not live in Texas. It's actually bred to live in Switzerland. And this dog can handle this kind of temperature. The couple was more than happy to show us the breezeway. They say Heidi was outside for three hours that day, then in for a short time, then out again for another two. They point to the shelter, the locked gate, and the very expensive doggy bed. She has her tempur mattress. She has her kennel in there, so if, you know, with blankets and pillows. The weather. most loved, most spoiled dog on the planet. This is, this dog, my, my family, we have a veterinarian in the family. Uh, this dog has an unbelievable life. After our interview with the couple, a man claiming to be the one who stole Heidi called Fox 4. He blocked his phone number, refused to identify himself, and would not talk to us on camera. His statement to us said, in part, we saw her outside for eight hours. We did anything we would have done if we saw a dog in a car in the middle of summer. The intention was always to take her back. Once we get her checked out with the vet and she gets a clean bill of health, she will be returned to her owners. Every neighbor around here knows Heidi and loves Heidi and knows we love Heidi so much. Yeah. She's our baby. Please, 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 please bring her back. We just, we're absolutely blown away. Now, the Guptons uh, told me that they really don't want vengeance. They're not trying to make a big deal of this. Uh, they just want their dog back. They're not, they don't even want a confrontation with the guy. They don't have any questions for him. They're, even some of their signs, Steve, say no questions asked. I just want the dog back. It's interesting, a lot, of, a lot of elements, Brandon. The guy was on their property, you know, cutting through. I, I, I'm not supposed to do that. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm not sure how people will take this, but he's, he's saying he wants to give the dog back, has every intention to do so. So why isn't he? Well, we asked him that, and he said he doesn't, he doesn't feel like he wants to return the dog to any sort of neglectful situation. So he even called the Humane Society to kind of get some advice from them on it. He didn't really get any answers or none that he wanted or hoped to hear. So he said he's going to take the dog to his family vet. We asked him when he was going to do that. He said he'll probably do that sometime Monday or Tuesday. So uh, according to him, he's going to have this dog for a few more days here. It, it, Brandon, quickly, is there a chance this is a neighbor and there's some kind of neighbor, neighbor spat going on here too? Well, you, when you look at this post and you listen to some of the things he's saying, he walked through their carport, he saw the dog, he, you know, he's kind of giving indications that he does live nearby. All right. All right, Brandon, we'll see how it turns out. Thanks.